<laughs> Welcome to the mini. Thank you. <laughs> this is the mini maxi property investor series and <laughs> we're, we're rocking it. So Amanda, would you like to introduce yourself, tell everybody what you're doing at the moment and we'll talk a little bit about what you've learned today and where you're at. Yeah, uh, my name's Amanda Garnet and I'm based in Cardiff and I'm a property investor and I've worked in the construction industry for many, many years Yes. and as a site manager, uh, mainly in contracting and then I went into residential before I started working on my own properties. And now your plans for your own property business going forward. So you've got tons, I mean bags of experience. Going forward, obviously you put me on the spot before yes, and I have got I to now, I agreed to do 20 properties, I think, a yes. million. And when I went away from here, I was thinking, shit, how <laughs> on earth am I gonna do 20? So I sort of a little bit of a way out and I had a little bit of a moment, a bit of a revelation, mm -hmm. broke me up in the middle of the night and I thought, I already know people who've yeah, got properties. Of course you do bigger properties yes. and people have already mentioned them to me yes um, I've also got someone who's been cited as a business partner for me yes to work alongside so I went to meet one of these um, pairs of people yeah uh, an elderly couple who've got um, um, a portfolio of large properties yeah one's a um, nine bed HMO wow but they're a, a pair mm -hmm. which is collapsed he did have lapsed planning permission for it to be a um, residential home and okay. it's his baby that he wants it as a residential home right so in order to secure the deal mm -hmm. I, I my gut feeling is that I need to make it a residential home and make yeah. his dream come true yeah and uh, the guy that somebody has mentioned that should be my business partner mm -hmm. uh, he's just done a residential home so we had the plan yes. we had the challenge and um, by the way she takes a challenge beautifully mm -hmm. We had the kind of establishment of what could be possible in your brain. Mm -hmm. Then we had the sleepless nights going, oh my God, what have I agreed mm. to? Um, which wasn't my, you no, know, it was your no, agreement. Yeah, you set the plan. Completely. And then you went, hang on, who are the people I know mm. within my network already that can help me deliver this plan? And so what we're seeing is the beginnings of the plan starting to be, yes. be put into place, given your experience and mm -hmm. you are deeply experienced in property. So what was previously, if you like, holding you back? partnerships and I think that was the main reason I came on the course was you identified that whilst I was in the middle of a partnership disaster or um, relationships rather yeah and um, I wasn't able to manage the people I had around me who were very very negative and yes. completely detrimental to myself my right. health and going yes. forward yes. and also to my family yes and now we've heard quite a lot of conversation in your about a visualization setting mm -hmm. out standards setting out requirements so it's almost boundary setting isn't it yes. this is what I want this is what I'm looking for in a partner and I'm really quite clear because I've, I've had some previous partnerships that didn't work out particularly strongly so what's the program giving you She's crazy enough to work with me for a year. <laughs> yeah, um, the program, well, it's given me the confidence to have a network of people behind me that I can now, and now in my new um, remit of people I can contact, yes. they're my new friends, they're, they're, they're getting rid of the pub talk people, yes. and they are supporting me. You're giving me valuable advice on how to do it, and really, you're guiding me from towards st staying away from the, the negatives in my life and the yeah. negative people, and going down and do it in a way that is... Um, damage limitation yeah. towards myself because yes. I can will wind off. Yes, and we talked it last month when we did business planning about um, there are two ways of motivating yourself. There's mm -hmm. the fear from, so where people use fear um, very successfully to say I don't want that anymore mm. and that's where you're at at the moment that that previous situation is a fear-based situation that I no longer want so yes. I'm moving away from and we also talked about how and also that's how I drove my business too mm. you know I do not want to be a single parent not being able to yeah. afford heating so it's a fear-based drive my god that drives mm. you like crazy and then also how do we improve how do we bring in pleasure so what do you want to move towards so I guess as you start to develop and deliver on this business plan of 20 properties as it starts to take place and it starts to firm up and it starts to be delivered it's gonna be very interesting to watch you going Ooh, Mm. Now what do I want to move towards? Because I, I personally think that the back against the wall fear from startup is going to be very successful because the energy is immense. Mm. But it'd be really interesting to watch you develop to go, well, actually what I want for my family is or what I'd like for myself is. And that will be probably the second iteration of your business plan. Mm. It'd be quite cool to watch. Yeah, I've actually done, I've actually done that. And I didn't actually realise that I'm actually moving towards my longer term goals. I, 
so it's just sort of happens oh. that um the the because i've always you can't put me crying on <laughs> film <laughs> that, that i actually would like to help the, el the elderly and obviously residential homes which How although i hadn't perfect. even thought of that is starting to come from the heart yeah so exactly what we kind of teach in the business planning mm. yes i want all the science i want the deliverables i want the kpis yeah. i want the numbers but i also want you to understand your motivating factors mm. and understand that the fear from is good for a startup it can't stay it needs to be put towards yeah. So yours is actually, I've got a vocation for the future that would really sustain my soul. Yeah, and there's quite a, quite a few of those I've got. I'd like to, to be able to help with um, the ex-forces when yes. they leave. Yes. Um, and obviously I've got my own, don't be looking at me right now. <laughs> James is filming <laughs> and he, ha he, he is forces. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, there's, I've, I've seen ex-forces, a lot of ex-forces on the streets. Yeah. And it's, it, it's shocking. Yeah. Um, so that's another one. And yes. obviously my own family, my, 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 my children were 18 this weekend. Yeah. I've done that. 18 yeah. years, you know, scary stuff out yes. the other end. Yes, but still, they're going to need some mama support, aren't they? Yeah, one wants to be a pilot. Good. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. we have some pilots. I know. So, if you're interested really in getting part of this mentoring program, what would you say to people? I would say join, you know, mm. but you don't know what you're going to get out of it, except it's all positive, it's all good. Your growth is going to be exponential. Yeah. And thank you. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you thank almost you. made me cry. Yeah, thank you for letting me come on it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, James, for filming.